So UiPath just recently released a new certification exam. It is the UiPath Certified Professional Specialized AI Associate Certification. So UiPath is constantly evolving and expanding its certification program. If we look at the program as a whole, we can see that it is divided into two main areas, the core area and the specialization area. And then in each of those two areas, there are two levels, the associate level, which is the easier level, and then the uh, professional level, which is much more difficult. So in the AI track of certifications, UiPath now has two certifications, the associate certification and the uh, professional certification. And the professional certification was released at UiPath Forward in Las Vegas in the fall of 2023. And then now in the summer of 2024, they released the associate certification, which is easier, but not easy. So if we look at the certification page, here's a description of the certification itself. And basically what it says is you need to be able to build simple AI solution using document understanding and communications mining. If you can do that, then you should be okay for the associate certification. If we go to the um, exam description document, some people would be in for a surprise. And full disclosure, I was, because I took the test more or less unprepared. Well, that's not entirely true because I've been pre preparing for the professional certification for a while. And I also have a lot of experience using Studio. So I'm not unprepared, I just didn't study for it. So if we go to the section that sort of covers what do you need to know about in order to pass this exam, it covers quite a bit of stuff. Uh, first of all, you of course need to be familiar with document understanding and communications mining, AI Center, and of course, you have a studio also. It surprised me how much studio and just general automation stuff there was on this exam. They will test you on anything from like uh, exception handling and just general automation stuff. And then of course you need to, uh, you know, be very familiar with document understanding and uh, communications mining. They are not going to ask into as much detail as I remember since I failed uh, on the professional exam, but they will ask questions about how do you train models and stuff like that. So, you know, do uh, a lot of studying and preparation and try to play and and build some simple solutions with these products. Now, if we go back to the certification page here, we can see that there are, of course, um, links to both uh, take some free online practice tests. I would very highly recommend you do that. It's a full test of, I think, 60 or 70 questions. You have the full amount of time at your uh, disposal, and it gives you a really good impression of what the real test will be like. I would say that this practice test, the one I took at least, is pretty much on par as far as difficulty goes uh, with the actual test. There's also a link to the specialized AI associate learning plan. And that's also something you want to explore. So let's go to that. So here is the learning plan and there's a, a well, quite lengthy description of it. And if you go to the curriculum or the lesson plan, basically if we just collapse these uh, different sections, we can see here that, well, while document understanding and communications mining, you know, there's five hours of document understanding and an hour and a half of uh, communications mining. Then there's 50 minutes of AI center, and then there's 30 hours of automation development. So this underlines the point I was trying to make a minute ago in that this is not an easy test and it is heavily focused on automation development. You need to know your stuff. Yes, as far as the AI stuff, document understanding, AI center, and uh, communication mining, it's much easier, of course, than the uh, professional certification, but you do need a lot of experience in both automation development and some experience with the AI products in order to pass the test. So take uh, the practice test, use the study guide, be prepared. And if you pass the uh, practice test, I would say comfortably, you should be okay with the actual exam as well. Now, before I move on to how I did on the test, I want to encourage you to uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up if you like it, and also subscribe to my channel if you like the channel. Hit the notification bell because then you'll be notified when I put out new videos. It happens every now and then. Yeah, I, but I would really appreciate it if you did it. So here's my score report. I, uh, I As I said, I took it fairly spontaneously. I just saw it and I had to try and take it. So I did it. 
and I did pass the test. Um, I got uh, the, the passing score is 70. You have to have 70% correct. And I passed it with 80. And again, I was surprised at how much automation stuff was on the actual exam. Uh, as I said, I'm practicing for the, or studying for the professional certification, the AI certification, and, and that's much more difficult. So the AI stuff I did fairly well on. Some of the sort of normal automation stuff, I did horribly on those, but that's how it goes sometimes. Finally, before you go, right now until I think it's August 31st, there's a discount on this certification. So if you go to pearsonview.com, there's a link to that in the description below. If you buy the certification before August 31st, uh, then you get a 50% uh, discount. The price for the certification is $150 US, but until August 31st, it's $75. And that's a fairly good price, I would say, for a certification of this kind. Again, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all of that. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.